UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Artelian TV. Another real quick game of Interplanetary Life Spy going on here. We're back at Sol 551 again. Uh, I was looking through this. I've been looking at this image for a few days now. There's loads of stuff to see in, in this. It's awesome. I really do recommend it. Uh, there's all sorts of strange, what they're like, carved artifacts and anomalous rocks that don't look like rocks. And this is yet another example of that. Uh, <laughs> I was, this is basically what looks like a, a fish. And why would a fish be sitting on the ground like that? Could it be carved? Could it be fossilized? Could it be freeze dried? Don't know. But it, it looks like some sort of weird bottom feeding fish. Uh, you can see an eye there. You can see its nose. It's got a weird sort of mouth with a sort of frilly bit at the bottom here, like a sort of bottom feeder might do, a bit like a cuttlefish. And it has a tail and a little fin here. Uh, and it may be part of a, a sort of fin on the back here, a dorsal fin that's kind of folded over. It's hard to tell exactly. I mean, uh, this is um, not that far away from the rover, actually, when this was taken. I'm guessing less than 20 feet away, probably 20, less than 25 feet anyway. So this is quite large. Um, it's a cup It's probably over a foot long. Uh, <laughs> this is quite big. It could be two foot long, but I'm, I'm guessing around eight inches to a foot. These things always look bigger than they actually are when, when it comes to the curiosity because of its deceptive point of view. Being seven foot up in the air, the camera tends to, to make everything look uh different to us uh, if you know what i mean so our perception of size is, is is all out so yeah what is this i mean i can't zoom in any further so what i've done i've taken a clip of this and i stuck it in my uh graphics process here and i just took some clips and just did some really basic enhancements i'll show you the, the further one to start with this is just the raw clip straight off the page now the, the image clipper i use will take bitmaps bmp files and they are at 200 dpi so i recommend if you've if you've got if you've not got the software to actually uh download some of these large images and some of them are huge uh, i recommend something like this bit of software here uh print screen software prt scr it's called free app you can get it you can just download it for free it's really good because it, it lets you to take bitmap clips of your screen which means they're a higher resolution. It means they're 200 DPI instead of 72 DPI, which is what a JPEG or, or whatever, or ping would be at. So they're much better. Although now pings are generally around 100 or, or 120 or 30. So, but yeah, bitmaps are better to work with because you won't lose any data when you're processing these images. So yeah, I'd, all I did was up the contrast uh, on this uh, a little bit and I turned the color temperature up a little bit. Uh, just warmed it up a little bit, you know, just to give it a bit more color. Um, that's all I did. Uh, you can see I haven't done much to it. Uh, it really is. I mean, this has been white balanced anyway, uh, this image. And I've just added a bit more, a bit more color to it. That's all I've done. And it looks like a fish. Now, could this be some kind of cuttlefish or something? This looks like a very hard bit of rock <laughs> almost here, quite reflective as well. But this may be a bony exoskeleton of some sort. This could be some sort of hybrid alien creature that we don't, have no idea about. It could have a, a, a sort of bony back on, on exterior, you know, like um, like a crustacean almost. So it may not be just a, a normal fish. This could be a type of crustacean. It could be a, a type of cuttlefish. It could be anything. It is alien. It could even be carved. There are lots of carved things in this area. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean everything's carved. This was once full of water. This area, so uh, fossilized and freeze dried fish are possible. Uh, I have found others. Um, you've only you've only got to look at my uh, playlist for that. Let's go back to the let's go back to the gigapan and have a look round. I mean, I'm surprised no one spotted this before. Uh, some of may have done, but I don't. I haven't seen this in anyone else's video. So. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit more enhancement work on this uh, and I'll put a couple of clips in at the end of the video for you to have a, a really good look at and pause and I'll, I'll, I'll see what like, more detail I can find. 
I don't think it's going to get a lot better than that. I mean, it already looks pretty good already. Uh, uh, it's clear, it's quite large, and it's quite near the rover, which is which is great. Normally, things are way too far off for us to see in any detail. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.